Adam Schiff and his group, they leaked it to the papers. And as usual, they ought to investigate Adam Schiff for leaking that information. He should not be leaking information out of intelligence. They ought to investigate Adam. Well, I've seen a very sad thing going on with respect to Roger Stone. You have a juror that's obviously tainted. She was an activist against Trump, said bad things about Trump and said bad things about Stone. So I think it was a great win for Bernie Sanders. See how it all turns out. They've got a lot of winning to do. I hope they treat him fairly. Frankly, I don't care who I run against. I just hope they treat him fairly. I hope it's not going to be a rigged deal because there's a lot of bad things going on. And I hope it's not going to be one of those. So we'll see what happens. But I congratulate Bernie Sanders. And if it's going to be him, he certainly has a substantial lead. We'll see what happens. I have you agree that Russia is trying to help Bernie Sanders? And so, what's your message to prove that it's comfortable? Nobody said it. I read where Russia is helping Bernie Sanders. Nobody said it to me at all. Nobody briefed me about that at all. What they try and do is uh, certain people like certain people to have information. No different than it's been. But I have not been briefed on that at all. Nobody told me about it. They leaked it. Adam Schiff and his group, they leaked it to the papers. And as usual, they ought to investigate Adam Schiff for leaking that information. He should not be leaking information out of intelligence. They ought to investigate Adam Schiff. Uh, you'll have to ask the Attorney General. I don't know where it stands, but you have to ask the Attorney General. Say it. Uh, you'll have to ask Bernie Sanders that. I mean, he'd know better than me. Uh, I have not been briefed to that effect, but you'll have to ask Bernie Sanders that. I think what it could be is, you know, the Democrats uh, are treating Bernie Sanders very unfairly. And it sounds to me like a leak, a leak from Adam Schiff because they don't want Bernie Sanders to represent him. It sounds like it's 16 all over again for Bernie Sanders. And he won. He had a great victory yesterday, but you know what's happening. You can see the handwriting on the wall. And I watched last time with respect to him, and they might have tried to do it with me, but I was able to catch it. That would be a terrible thing if that were the case. Countries are trying to split Russia and Ukraine apart. If they came together, they would have to be a world superpower, Ukraine and Russia. What do the president do? Well, I'd like to see them come together. I think if they came together in the sense that they got along with each other, that would be a great thing. It would be a great thing for the world. If uh, Ukraine and Russia could work out some agreement where they get along, to me, that would be very good. Yeah, sure. He's here now. No problem. Well, I've seen a very sad thing going on with respect to Roger Stone. You have a juror that's obviously tainted. She was an activist against Trump, said bad things about Trump and said bad things about Stone. She somehow wheedled her way onto the jury. And if that's not a tainted jury, then there is no such thing as a tainted jury. I think it's a disgrace. And I could say plenty more about that whole situation, but I'll hold it. I don't know why they gave a judgment, why the judge ruled prior to ruling on that. Because in theory, you should rule on that and then you see what happens. But the judge gave a sentence without discussing that. And I guess he's going to bring that up at a later date. But I do think this, that juror is so biased and so tainted that that shouldn't happen in our criminal justice system, that's for sure. We'll see what happens. We have four or five people that are great, uh, very respected. In the meantime, we have our ambassador to Germany who's a very smart person. He's doing a great job. I can't tell you yet, but I'll be announcing it soon. His time came up. You know, he, I think it was March 11th, his time comes up. He ran out of time because on Mar I think it was a, a date of March 11th. Uh, he's a very nice man. His time came up, so he had to leave on March 11th. Well, I look forward to being with the people of India. We're going to have many millions and millions of people. It's a long trip. But I get along very well with the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi. He's a friend of mine. I committed to this trip a long time ago, and I look forward to go going. We're taking, as you know, the First Lady's coming.
Some of you are coming. I hear it's going to be a big event. Some people say the biggest event they've ever had in India. That's what the prime minister told me. This will be the biggest event they've ever had. So it's going to be very exciting. I'm going to be there one night. That's not too much. And then I'm stopping in South Carolina. We're doing a big rally. And then I'll be uh, doing CPAC on Saturday. So there's not a lot of time for rest, I will say that. See the nominees? I think so, unless they cheat him out of it. I think so. I think Bernie is looking more and more like he'll be the nominee, unless they cheat him out of it. A lot of people thought he was going to be the nominee last time, and that didn't work out. I think they're watching it very closely. I would imagine so. Yeah, we're very much involved. We're very, uh, very cognizant of everything going on. We have it very much under control in this country. Well, it's, uh, it's, a big, it's a big situation going on throughout the world. And uh, I can say the United States, we very much closed our doors in certain areas and about certain areas, through certain areas, and we'll see what happens. But we have the greatest doctors in the world. We have it very much under control. We accepted a few people, a small number of people. Uh, they're very well confined, and they should be getting better fairly soon. Very interestingly, we've had no deaths. We have, we've had a great practice. We had, we had 12 at one point, and now they've gotten very much better. Many of them are fully recovered. Do you think President Xi should be doing something different? No, I think President Xi is working very, very hard. I spoke to him. He's working very hard. I think he's doing a very good job. It's a big problem. But President Xi loves his country. He's working very hard to solve the problem, and he will solve the problem, OK? I'll be appointing a ambassador to Germany. I will say Ambassador Grinnell has done a fantastic job. This is just a temporary job. We have five people that we're looking at very seriously, expert people. And at a certain point in the not too distant future, we'll be announcing who they are. Well, uh, the ambassador will be doing that. He did a great job. He's very familiar with the people, and uh, he will. He has done a fantastic job in that. He's going to continue to maintain that because he's got such a good dialogue. Everybody said that was a deal, you know, that couldn't be done, and we got it done. It's a great thing for those two countries. I'm not involved in it. I'm not involved. I, I don't have to, but I stay uninvolved. I don't have to. I can be totally involved, as you know. But I very much stay uninvolved, and it's all working out very well. Look, the Taliban has been fighting for decades. We've been over there 19 years. We're like a uh, law enforcement force. Uh, we think uh, they want to make a deal. We want to make a deal. I think it's going to work out. We'll see. We're right now in a period that's been holding up. You know, we have a certain period of nonviolence. It's been holding up. It's a day and a half, so we'll see what happens. But people want to make a deal, and I think the Taliban wants to make a deal, too. They're tired of fighting. Uh, we haven't made, we haven't decided. I want to see how this period of a week works out. We can do that very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Assuming it works out over the next less than a week, I would put my name on it. It's time to come home. And they want to stop. You know, they've been fighting a long time. They're tough people. We're tough people, but after 19 years, that's a long time. We have to be very careful. National security, Huawei national security, we have to be very careful. Thank you very much, everybody. Great fight. Two great fighters. It was really very exciting. Maybe we have to bring them both to the White House. I don't know, because that was really a good one. In fact, I think we'll do that. Have a good time.